it's Miss Mac. I'm so glad you're here. You'll, uh, you'll notice where we are today. As you can see, we're by the sea. We've gone to the ocean. We're going to have a wonderful time. And off in the distance, I hear waves crashing on the shore. Do you hear them too? Eh, eh, I hear them. Let's make waves. Ready? Breathe in. Ooh, a big crash. Let's, let's add our arms. Oh, one more big wave. Ready? And here in this ocean, there are some whales. You can tell me out loud right now what noise you think a whale makes. What do you think? Go. You can make it. Sounds off. I bet several of you are right because whales make all sorts of different noises and some of them are hilarious. Um, it sounds like they're singing. Whale speaking is often called whale song. And so we're gonna make some goofy noises as we exhale. I'm gonna use the power vested in me to turn you all into whales. You'll breathe in through your nose and then you'll breathe out. A, a whale song. Yours does not have to sound exactly like mine. Try it. My whale was saying, I would like some pizza right now this very moment. Think in your brain what your whale was saying. Excellent. Try, try, try another one. You can just make long, goofy whale call sounds. Breathe in. You don't have to make the same sound as me. Breathe in. Whale. That whale was saying, I miss my cousin. I'd like to see them. Think in your brain what, we're, what your whale was saying. <laughs> One more, ready? We breathe in. That whale song meant I'm ready for yoga. Are you? Wonderful. Well, here at the sea, we've gotten some sand on us. So we need to stand up, stand up tall. I've got to, Got some sand on my fingers. Get it off. Get the, get the sand off of your fingers. And now one hand can help the other. Get that, get that sand off my fingers. I've got some sand on my arms. Get the sand off of your arms. Oh, so sandy from all this playing here at the sea. Ooh. Give one arm a shake a shake a. Give your other arm a shake a shake a. I've got to. That's sand on my shoulders. Unbelievable. Get the sand off your shoulders. Oh, that feels nice. Off your other shoulder. Get out of here, sand. Give your shoulders a shake a shake a. Unbelievable. I've got sand on my legs. Get the sand off your legs. Get out of here, sand. Ooh, try doing it slow. Try doing it fast. And shake a shake of your legs. Now, anywhere else you might have sand. Out of here, sand. Okay, I'm feeling better now. One big breath in. Out. Feeling focused enough to tell you who we might see here at the sea today. Are you ready for the first one? He's uh, he's a little scary. I don't know if you're ready. A shark. We've seen a shark here at the sea today. Uh, don't worry about it. I don't think he wants to gobble kindergarten and first graders. I'm, well, maybe, maybe. Don't 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 get that close to the kids. Good heavens, it's not good boundaries. Let's be sharks. Everybody lay down on your tum-tum. I'm gonna turn sideways so you can see me better. You do not have to turn sideways. 
Lay down on the tummy tum tum. And say the Sanskrit word bhujangasana. And now say it like you're a cranky shark. Bhujangasana. Good. Prop yourself up on your elbow and snap your strong jaws. I'm a shark and I'm ready to eat some tofu salad. Yum. I'm a shark and I'm tired. Take a shark nap. Lay down on your hands. Good night. Wake up. I'm a shark and I think I need some carrots. Gobble up some carrots, my sharks. Yum. Ooh, these have rosemary. Delicious. Good night, sharks. And now the shark is very awake. Press up very high, my sharks. Look all around and notice something that you think is delicious. <gasps> I see a chocolate cake. <sighs> um. Sharks, say the Sanskrit word bujangasana one more time. Bujangasana. Do not bite the children. Unbelievable. I'm very sorry for my shark. It's not good manners. So a shark has come to yoga today. A little, a little, somebody a little less frightening is swimming in now. In fact, Miss Mac likes this animal so, so much. It's a fish. Yeah, what a friendly little fish. Um, fish poses, it's a little bit tricky uh, for everyone. And when I teach grown-ups, this pose is a little bit tricky for them too. So Miss Mac wants you to take your time trying fish pose. I'm turning sideways. Do you have to turn sideways? No, you don't. You're fine exactly the way you are. I put my legs out long in front of me. Wait, don't do anything else. Look at Miss Mac. I put my elbows on the ground. My shoulders? No, my elbows. Mm -hmm. My legs are long, my legs are not doing anything. And then I lift my chest up and I drop my head back and then I am in fish pose. Uh-huh. Some of my kids do not like how it feels to have their head back and that is okay. If you want to lift your head up, you can. I'm gonna choose to keep my head back, back, back because it feels nice for me. I am a fish. Oh, and you know what? I'm a clownfish like Nemo. So I'm orange and I've got some white. You think in your brain, if you know what kind of fish, you can choose one. If you don't know any kinds of fish, you can choose a color. Hang out here in fish pose for five, for four, three, Two and one. Be gentle with your body as you swim up, up, up. And let's learn sign language for fish. It's this. So just what I'm doing with my hand, not the way I'm sitting. Wiggle your hand like you're signing fish. Isn't that a cute sign? I love that one. Fish. This fish thinks it's adorable as well. A shark has come to yoga today. A fish has come to yoga today. And so have an amazing team. The first team member is, do you know what this is? You very likely said starfish, and that makes a lot of sense because that is what it's most often called. But here's the news. Starfish do not in fact count as fish. So their real name is sea stars. So this is in fact a sea star, not a starfish. Let's try it. We're gonna stay, we can stand exactly like this uh, sea star is. Stand up tall. Hmm. Spread your feet apart. Lift your arms way up high. And don't do anything. Sea stars are incredibly lazy. They hardly move at all. They don't play. They don't roll over. They don't do somersaults. They don't fly or drive submarines. Nothing. Sea stars just lay around. So even though you're reaching through your fingers, even though you're standing up tall, I want you to take a long, deep, calming breaths because nobody is calmer than a sea star. Breathe. One more. Oh, so chill. And they would never really do this, but it's just fun. Rock from side to side. I just like how that feels. Be a balancing sea star. Four more times. A one, 
a two, a three, and a four. I told you C star was in yoga class part of a team. So here's the first team member, C star. And uh, do you know what this is? Yeah. So a lot of my kids say crab, and that makes a lot of sense also. This is, in fact, a lobster. In yoga, this is what lobster pose looks like. Stand up tall. Spread your feet out. Bend, bend, bend your knees. And snap your lobster claws. See if you can bend your knees a little bit more. Beautiful. So it makes a lot of sense, right, to switch between being a sea star, reach up big, reach up tall, and be a lobster, snap a snap a, and bend to the knees. Again, sea star, reach up big and strong. And now you are a lobster, snap those claws. One more time, reach up, 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 my sea stars. And bend, 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 my lobsters. Stay in lobster pose for five, for four, for three, two, and one, snap. I only have one more critter for you. Lobster has come to yoga today. Sea star has come to yoga today. And so has, you have to wait for it because he's kind of slow. Sorry, he's coming. He's still coming, it's taking him a second, hang on. Oh, there he is, turtle. Sea turtle specifically has arrived in yoga class. Do you know that turtles have feeling in their shell? So they like it when you pet their shell, exactly like a dog or a cat would like it if you pet their fur. So turtles who live at zoos or aquariums, sometimes their caretakers will take like a toothbrush for a small turtle or a bigger brush for a bigger turtle and they'll brush their shells and the turtles will move around and wiggle because they like how it feels. I think that's hilarious and adorable and I love knowing that they're that well taken care of at a lot of zoos and aquariums. Let us be turtles. <sighs> I will turn sideways. I need you to put your feet together, but then make them go far, far away from you. Are my feet still together? Yes, I did not separate them, I kept them together. Super duper. Tuck your hands underneath your ankles. Underneath your knees? No, underneath your ankles. And look at this amazing pocket you have made for yourself. Get in your shell. Hop into your shell, my turtles. Snug and tight, tuck your head into your shell. And good night, turtles. Let's take a nap. Turtles, I said good night. One more breath. And slowly, slowly like a turtle, roll up. You made it. Here we come. We're coming back slowly. Hang on. It's going to take us a second. We're coming. We're coming. Hang on. Turtle came to class today. And last time I saw you, we pretended to go to the zoo and we learned turtle mudra. Let's review that. Here's the little turtle head. Tuck it in, very shy. And here's the turtle shell, fold it over. Tuck, fold. Do your hands look like mine? They're like two gentle fists, but the thumbs are hidden. And then place your turtles on your legs. And it's up to you if you pretend they are, your legs are um, rocks or logs or maybe some sand. Just have the turtles be resting on your legs and make some waves, not too big, because you don't want to scare the turtles or you don't want them to swim away, right? A couple of gentle waves, please. Two, oh, the turtles loved that. Two more gentle waves. One more.
slowly, 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 the turtles swim away. We have reached the 15 minute mark. That means it is time to pause the video. As always, when you come back, it'll be time for our story. See you soon. Oh, hello. I'm so glad you're back. It's me, Miss Mac, and here we are at the zoo. What a grand time we have had meeting a shark. <sniffs> Unbelievable. I'm so sorry. I'm gonna have to put him in timeout. We have met a cutesy, cutesy little fish. Look at how blue he is. We have learned that starfish are in fact sea stars. Fun science fact. We have snap, snap, snapped like lobsters. And we have met a slow and cautious turtle. Before we meet some more pals, let's take one whale breath. Remember, whales make high tones, they make low tones, and they change their note a lot. So you can make your voice go up or down as you're exhaling, as you're breathing out like a whale. Ready, whales? Here we go. Breathe in. In case you didn't know, that was whale song for I am ready for a story. Think in your brain what your whale was saying. I wish I could hear your answers. I bet they're delightful. Take a moment to make yourself comfy cozy for our, our, our story. I feel comfortable the way I am, so I'm going to stay. Do you need to change how your legs or your arms are in order for you to be comfortable? Do you need to change where you're looking in order to be able to focus on me? Okay, here we are. Now we are ready. We've had enough time. And we are going to read the yoga game uh, by the sea. Do you remember when we did that garden class and the pictures looked very similar? The same author and the same illustrator made this book as well. So it's full of riddles. I am going to read you some clues and you can think in your brain if you know the answer to the riddle. As always, it's okay to be wrong. I would, I would rather uh, you take a brave guess and be wrong than not participate. In the Yoga Game by the Sea by Kathy Beliveau and Denise Holmes. Watch out for this seagull on every page. He tries yoga like the squirrel did in the garden book and he's real cute. <sighs> I wrap the world in seven seas. Pirates sail on my breeze. My tides are low, my tides are high. Each wave is like a breath and sigh. What am I? What do you think that could be describing? The poems in this book are really tricky. I am the ocean. Reminder that during story time in this class, we just listen to the words and watch the pictures. We look at the pictures first and then later we try all of the shapes. So right now your body should be resting and your eyes should be focused on me. Thank you. Next time, see if you can figure it out. What, what could this poem be about? Listen to the clues. Sleek and graceful in the sea, on land I flop more awkwardly. Smooth and round with flippered feet, think of all the fish I eat. What could they be talking about? I am a seal. Um, in areas where there are a lot of seals and where people rely on boats, seals can become accustomed to humans, like the bunnies or the squirrels here in Chicago are used to people. They're not a, very afraid of them. So you know how you see squirrels and bunnies a lot. You can get kind of close to them. It's like that in some areas with marinas or harbors. A seal will come like right up to a boat because they're just not scared of it, which I think is, is so cute. I burst up through the warm blue sea, then dive down low and splash with glee. I click and cluck and whistle sound. My laughter bubbles all around. Um, do you know any ocean animal that clicks? 
What could they be talking about? I am a dolphin. Everybody say the word echolocation. Say it in a grumpy voice. Echolocation. That's how dolphins and some other animals find each other or things that they're looking for. They click and they find it based on where the sound bounced off. Amazing. I can reach way up high and paint my magic in the sky. Radiant colors everywhere. See them balance in the air. So this one is not an animal. Something in the sky, something colorful. What do you think? I am a rainbow. Look at that seagull doing rainbow pose. Adorable. So this one is also not an animal. Hmm. Come and sing a lullaby to the crescent in the sky. Sometimes I am full and bright, a brilliant glowing ball of light. So something crescent shaped, which is kind of like a letter C shape like this. Something in the sky, something that comes out at night. What could that be? I am the moon. This is half moon pose. I think it feels so good. A few more pals. I soar above the land and sea or sit upon a giant tree. Piercing, poised with piercing eyes, I silently search sea and skies. What flies in the sky? It's big, it's mighty, it's got strong wings. What do you think? I am an eagle. Eagle pose is a tricky business. I'm very excited for us to try it. People row or paddle me. I can sail across the sea with a captain and a crew to navigate the endless blue. So how do you, how do you get over water if there's no road? What are you going to do? What are you going to ride in? I am a boat. To get across from A to B, you might go up and over me, or sail under in a boat, or sneak across a castle's moat. So to get across water, what is something that you could drive a car on or drive a boat under? What could that possibly be? I am a bridge. Look at these beautiful sandcastles they made. I wonder if the seagull made them. That would be absolutely delightful. Would you like to live with me? Swimming in the deep blue sea, glistening fins and shiny scales, hanging out with clams and whales? Well, I don't think that's a lot of clues. So many things live in the sea. I wonder what it could be. What do you think? What's something that lives in the sea that we haven't talked about yet? I am a fish. Oh, you already know how to do fish pose. And you already know the sign for fish. Everybody signs fish. A little fish swimming in the water. You're beautiful. A squishy blob inside my shell. This round hinged home is where I dwell. I try to burrow in the sands to hide from gulls and digging hands. Something with a hard shell, something that snaps shut and is squishy inside. This one is very tricky. I am a clam. Last one. I breathe the air, the air breathes me. I am the land, I am the sea. I am the clouds that drift above. I am special. I am love. I am me. 
the end. Pretty cute, huh? One big wave before we move through our book. Breathe in my pulse. Crash your wave. And now just a small gentle wave. Sand on my fingers, unbelievable. Get the sand off your fingers. And now brush it off with your hands. Okay, now I'm good. Let's move through today's story, through today's book. Sign book, please. It's like you're opening it. Book. Great. So the first uh, ocean character we met was a seal, and they are using Bujangasana to represent seal. So everybody lay down on your tum-tum. Please hold, I got a little bit tangled. There we go, thanks for waiting. Lay down on your tum-tum. And then press up high. Yeah, beautiful. Do you know what seals say? It's hilarious, they bark like a dog. If you want to, you can make a seal sound. Orf, 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 orf. And most seals are in fact gray or uh, brown or white, but you can imagine whatever color you want. Um, what if I were a striped seal? I think that would be delightful. What if I were like an orange and green striped seal? That'd be a hoot. Seals, let's sing a seal song one more time. Arf, 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 arf. And seals turn back into kids. So that you can learn seal sign, which is a little bit tricky. You, I forgot, there it is. You uh, try to connect your hands like this. So instead of just clapping, you're all tangled up. Clap. That means seal. Lovely. Let's be a dolphin. So for dolphin pose, we are going to need our forearms. And if you didn't already know what a forearm is, we learned that in Zuzen, I think. So this is a forearm, right? This area between my wrist and my elbow. And this has to stay parked on the floor during dolphin pose. So my elbows cannot lift up. Capiche? Wonderful. Okay, here we go. Put your forearms on the floor. Put your two forearms on the floor. And make yourself really little. Do you see how close my knees are to me? Tuck your toes and go upside down, dolphins. And let's echolocate. Let's find each other. Oh, I found you. Oh, how marvelous. Dolphins, let's count to five. One, two, three, four, five. Knees down. Beautiful work. Do you know, this is my favorite dolphin fact, that in one place in China, only one place in the, whole, in the whole world has pink dolphins. Not even for pretend, not even silly. There are pink dolphins in one river in China and they're beautiful. I wish I had a picture to show you. They're very cool. Our last pose before our break is moon. Say Ardha Chandrasana. Ardha Chandrasana. Good, let's try it. Stand up, tall pals. Reach your arms over your head. Hold hands with yourself and stretch to the side, just like a crescent moon shining in the sky. And then go the other way, Ardha Chandrasana, half moon pose. Each side one more time, bend, bend, bend. And one more, bend, bend, bend. And stand up tall. 
Friends, we have once again met another 15 minute mark, which means that it's time to pause the video. Next time I see you, we will finish the poses in Yoga Game by the Sea. See you soon. Oh, hello. So glad you're back. We left off with Half Moon Pose in the stupendous book, the Yoga Game by the Sea by Kathy Bellavo. Let's make one ocean wave so we are ready. Make it just a little one, just gentle. Beautiful. Okay, now I feel ready for the next pose, which is rainbow. This might look easy peasy lemon squeezy to you, but it is challenging for a lot of people, kids and grownups alike. So we're gonna take it kind of slow. Sit on your booty. Make one leg long. One leg short. Leave them like that. Don't move them. Put your hand on the floor and stretch up. Do you see how I did not switch my legs? I'm still on the same leg and then I reach my arm up and I'm able to paint stripes of my rainbow. So look how my bottom leg is the one that is bent. My top leg is straight. I'm putting like six purple stripes in my rainbow. Hmm. Two more big stripes in your rainbow, whatever colors you want. And one more. Oop. And over. A one and a two and a switcheroo. Sit on your booty. One leg lock. One leg short. Stop. Look at me and make sure you match. Yeah, one short, one long. Eh? Good. Don't change your legs. Put your hand on the ground and push up, up, up to the sky. Beautiful. We got to paint our rainbow. Here's an orange stripe for me. Ooh, and a red one. And yellow. Keep painting whatever colors you want in your rainbow. Two more, pals. A one. And a two. Oh, what marvelous rainbows. Such a variety of colors. We've been a rainbow. Let's be. Are you ready for eagle pose? Because eagle pose is a tricky business. Look at how tangled he is. My goodness. Okay, my eagles stand up tall. First, we gotta flap our wings, strong wings. Flap of the wings. And I, as you can see, am wearing a microphone. So I'm not gonna hug myself tight, but you can hug yourself tight if that feels good to you. It would mess up my sound. So I'm gonna give myself a relaxed hug. Here is where the tricky business comes in. I smush my elbows together, and then I give myself a high five. We're not even done with the trickiness. Bend your knees, bend them so much. Pick up one leg and tangle yourself all up like a bowl of spaghetti. And you have arrived in Garudasana eagle pose. Oh my, bend your knees so much. You can do it, you can do it. One big breath in Garudasana. Untangle your legs, untangle your arms, flap your eagle wings, and shake out your eagle legs. <sighs> Are you ready to do it on our other side? I want you to try really hard and see if you can put the other arm and the other leg on top. If you're not sure which one you did, that's fine, it's no problem. Red eagles, flap of the wings. And give yourself a hug. Smush your elbows together. Give yourself a high five. Mighty wings are all tangled up. Bend your knees a lot, a lot. Oh, I think you can bend your knees more. Yeah, there we go. Pick one leg up, 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 and <gasps> tangle. We are a bowl of spaghetti. Garudasana, eagle pose. For three. Oh, now I wobbled. Two, 
And one, untangle and flap your wings. What else could be here at the sea? I love this next one because it makes me feel very strong. Boat pose, Navasana. So first, let's be just a little boat, like a, like a kayak. So a kayak is kind of like this. This is actually called a canoe. Kayak is the one where just one person sits in and there's like a little hole for the one person to sit in. So let's hop in our kayak. Sit in your booty. Have your feet in front of you. And just lift your feet a little bit. If you want to, you can paddle. Kayaks have just one paddle that goes from side to side. And then, uh, you know, I want a slightly bigger boat. So I decide that I want a tugboat. I pick my legs up, I pick up my arms. No rowing this time, because now it has a motor. This is Ardha Navas in our half boat. I just like to call it tugboat. And now we're gonna go on a really big boat, ready? Pick up your, pick up your feet, pick up your arms, and you are on a cruise ship. You can do it for five, for four, three, two, one and land, let's come aground, reach far forward, Pashimotanasana, reaching for your toes. And our last couple of things here by the sea. Do you remember from our first segment of sea yoga, how to do fish pose? Do you think you can figure it out from this picture or from your own memory? Try it. I'm not gonna move yet, I'm just gonna hold up the picture. See if you can get into fish pose by yourself. Wonderful, now I'm gonna get into it and if you need to peek at me, you can. My elbows are on the ground. Bloop. My chest is up high and my head is back unless that would hurt me. If it would hurt me, then I could keep my head up. Hmm. The fish are looking up at the surface, up at the top of the water. And the fish are gonna stay here for five, for four, three, two, and one. Carefully swim to the surface, my fish. Sign fish. It's little and wiggly and cute, fish. And our last one from this book is clam. So these, these little guys are clams right here, these like shells that snap open and shut, and then they have, a, they have a pearl inside them. That's what that white thing is. Let's be a clam for the end of our story. Put the bottoms of your feet together. Bloop, Baddha Konasana. So it's a lot like turtle pose from earlier, but clams have two shells, not one, right? Or they're attached to each other. So hold your arms overhead, be an open clam, snap shut. Open clam, snap shut. Open clam, snap shut. Last time, open clam, stay shut. Close that clam and stay here for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. The end of our story, but not of our class. We need to sing. And it's a song that I bet you've never heard in your whole life. I bet I'm the only person who's ever heard it in, in the whole universe. I'm gonna be very amazed by this brand new song. It happens to be about a shark. Do you know any songs about sharks? I bet you probably do. Let's sing, I'm a shark. Here we go. Remember shark pose is Bhujangasana, pulling ourselves up out of the water. I'm a shark, do, 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 do. I'm a shark, do, 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 do. I'm a shark, do, 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 do. I'm a shark. Be a little tiny shark. Put your elbows or your forearms on the floor. Sing it again. 
I'm a shark, do 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 do. I'm a shark, do 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 do. I'm a shark, do 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 do. I'm a shark. What? What? I think we need to be a big shark, right? Get up really tall. Maybe you're a great white shark this time. Lovely. If this hurts your back, then you are up too high. Bend your elbows if this hurts you. I'm a shark, do 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 do. I'm a shark, do 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 do. I'm a shark, do 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 do. I'm a shark. What uh, what what other guests did we have today? Or with this theme, we also had a lobster. I'm a lobster. Help me sing. Do you remember what lobster pose is? I'm gonna wait. And if you remember what lobster pose is, you can stand up into it right now. If you are standing like this, then you are right. I'm a lobster do 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 to do a lobster do 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 to do a lobster do 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 to do a lobster. I'm a lobster do 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 to do a lobster do do. Do 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 a lobster do 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 a lobster, and the lobster's teammate in yoga class was what? A sea star. So that the song is a little bit easier, we're just gonna sing "I'm a star," but it, we mean sea star, right? Stand up tall. I'm a sea star. And remember, they're very lazy. They're very low energy. So even though the song is peppy and fun, try to hold still. I think that's gonna be really challenging for me, but I'm gonna try. Ready? We're gonna hold still, except for our mouths, because we're singing, right? Here we go. I'm a star, do, 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 to do. I'm a star, do, 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 to do. I'm a star, do, 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 to do. I'm a star. So even though they're lazy and low energy, they're also very floppy and wiggly. So this time you can like melt and sway and twist as we sing I'm a star. You don't have to melt or sway or twist the same way as me. You just gotta be a, you know, a wiggly jiggly sea star is all. I'm a star do do, do 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 do. I'm a star do do, do 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 do. I'm a star do do, do 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 do. I'm a star. And our last one is fish. This is going to be hard to sing if you tilt your head back. So maybe look up at the ceiling instead so you can still sing comfortably. Fish pose, here we go. I use my forearms to support myself. And I personally am a clownfish, just like Nemo. I keep looking up because I'm, I'm not gonna like singing like this. Here we go, last time. You sing. I'm a fish, do, 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 do. I'm a fish, do, 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 do. I'm a fish, do, 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 do. I'm a fish. And the last one, we're gonna sing really quiet and shy. Shh, very quiet fish. I'm a fish, do, 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 do. I'm a fish, do, do. Do, 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 I'm a fish, do, 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 I'm a fish. Fish turn back into kids. Stay quiet and cozy as we make just a, just a little gentle wave. Which invites back those sea turtles. Tuck the turtle heads, close the turtle shells, let them rest in your lap. Make the sound of two gentle waves. I said gentle, one more. The turtles are ready to move on, they swim away. And just in time, because here comes a giant wave, breathe in. Followed by another one, breathe in. And 
and somebody who really loved playing in those giant waves was a big whale singing its last whale song of our class. Are you ready, my whales? Here we go. Let all of your air go. Breathe out. Breathe in. Whale song. Whales turn back into kids. Oh man, I had so much fun with you doing yoga by the sea today. Pleasure to yoga with you. We're headed back to the sea next time. I'll see you real soon.